Okay guys, we're back. And we are gonna start adding some more values to this and a little more color um, to make it pop some more. So I'm now gonna look for my shadows and start adding the darker values to the shadows. And for my darker values, I'm using brown. I'm not sure what you guys are gonna be using, but uh, whatever the darker value you see, you're gonna add, and you're using a fine tip or a round tip brush for this. I'm just adding where the shadows would go. If it gets too dark, we can always add a little bit of water. Water makes everything better with watercolor. Unless you put too much on, then it's a mess. So. You want to find that happy medium of the right amount of water, the right amount of color value. See how that area right there got a little weird? I can just work that out. Not a big deal. Keep on rolling here. I'm going to darken this back leg a little bit. Again, guys, I'm just using brown with a little bit of uh, water. I want this back leg to be darker than the front leg to show it's further away. So I'm just adding color in this area here. Darkening that making this front leg pop out. We have the belly. We gotta have a little bit of a shadow here to give it a little bit more three dimensionality. You guys will work that out as well. I'm gonna add some more details here. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with neck a little bit. There's some fun little lines on the neck. You can just kind of use the tip of the round tip brush and really lightly add these lines, give it some more detail. And I'm going to work my way up into the face a little bit more now. And I'm not, there's not a lot of water on the paper. Most of the water now is just directly on the brush and that makes it easier for me to manipulate where the water goes move the color around I'm not so concerned about a big puddle of water on my animal I'm just kind of working the water that's on my brush into the color I have a picture of a camel I'm staring at right now, so that's why I keep looking up. I keep looking at my screen here. And then he has a happy little weird smile. I find camels to be kind of ugly. I don't know about you guys. I think they're kind of ugly. I'm trying to make them look pretty, but you know, it is what it is. So we're adding that other layer of value to really give this animal that much more realism, texture, all that good stuff. Speaking of texture, we're gonna start adding some of that texture here. Uh, this line detail here, that's texture. Anytime you have something that uh, really kind of feel looks like it feels a certain way, you've achieved texture. So um, all this stuff is is solid texture.
Now I'm just kind of blending things out a little bit as well. Right here, I just added some water. See how I'm moving it around. I didn't like it very much what I just did. So I'm just trying to move that water into a place where it can be more helpful to the artwork. But we also now, with the use of that water, I have another layer value. So it's a lighter tone of brown that transitions into that yellow brown, which is really nice. And that's uh, kind of what you're shooting for as well. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of that on the neck here. Oh, that was too dark. If it's ever too dark, squeegee your brush and put a little bit of water on, put a little bit of water on, and well, it magically disappears. I'm just going to brush this in, pretending like that never happened. I'm going to add some more line details, darken up these lines a little bit. And these darker lines, this is just um, a pretty dry brush. And I don't know if you can see my my brown here, but I'm gonna show it to you. There's barely any water. There you are. Barely any water in that brown. There's just a little puddle. That's what you want for a dry on dry technique. It's just enough water in there for it to spread and move around a little bit, but you don't want a lot. And the drier it gets, the more texture you can create with it. So just keep on adding your, your texture. Um, let me see here. Let me... Add some texture. And this is again, the dry on, uh, dry on dry technique. I'm just going in one direction like the boy band. Trying to give that little furry texture. Touch of water. And just keep doing what you're doing, and eventually you'll get something that you really, really like. But keep adding fur, keep adding texture, short brush strokes. That works really well. Okay, guys, I'm hoping this helped you out a little bit. Um, any questions when you're at the house, give me a holler and I can help you out. Obviously, don't holler. Just email me and I can be able to help. All right? Good luck, guys.